Hi, I'm Amanda. I'm Andy. And we're students from Channel Islands University, and we're here at the Channel Islands Visitor Center at Ventura Harbor. National Park. Oh yeah, National Park. <laughs> And we're, we create, helped create this uh, Drought Tolerant Garden, it's a demo DIY garden. So the public can recreate their own or do the same one that we did. And the purpose of this garden is that it's sustainable and it's native and it's a Mediterranean climate. Everything, every plant you see can be purchased in the local area. It's either native to Ventura County or the Channel Islands themselves. And we're selling a lot of them right here, right now today, yep. on the Saturday. Got plenty right? of them. And how, how much how much how much money did it cost to purchase all of this plant matter here that you guys went and have since planted? So a lot of this we actually grew from seed or propagated on our own. And aside from that, ones we did have to buy. Grand total came around eight hundred dollars just oh, for, for plants all and material. material. All material, yeah. yeah so, so that includes the mulch and, the and other line. materials and yeah, drip line, uh, mulch, gravel, and materials for the pump and water rain collection. So what are some cool aspects of the of the garden here you guys have designed? So one of the main features we have is our water feature, which is a uh, dry seasonal riverbed that meanders along the side of the building attached to our main water pond. And the pond's supposed to collect rainwater with the French drain that we hooked up to the side of the visitor center. Mm -hmm. And it will pump water into the pond and the overflow water will actually meander down the dry river. And we'll add one of those nice seasonal water features to that. Cool, so seasonal water feature, what else? Uh, so we have a different array of sections for the different Mediterranean climates. So we have riparian along the river and this pond area. And then we have desert area up front where there's a lot of dudlia and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then we have some chaparral and woody plants in the back corner mm -hmm. and in the middle section. We chose a lot of different kinds of plants so people can actually realize and see what they really like for their own home garden. So mm -hmm. it's a little bit of taste of everything for them. Yeah, and something will be blooming all the time throughout the whole year. So we'll have some dormant and some bloom and we complement them to have different colors that look good together. So this is not just a quote unquote native garden, not just quote unquote drought tolerant garden, but it's it's you guys are trying to hope to show the community that this is something that everybody could do. That that it's it's got elements of that, but it's also stuff that's all within people's reach. It's not super exotic. You have to go to the Huntington gardens to get some rare variety of something, right? Yeah, everything yeah. you see is uh, we purposely did in a way that you can do it yourself and you can do it at home. But it is native. Yeah. Right. It is native. <laughs> right. I didn't mean to say it was not yeah, native, okay. but I meant that it wasn't some crazy exotic, oh, yeah. some, some crazy hard to obtain okay, yeah. native. Let me say it that way. Yeah, and it's also interesting because some of these plants you can find on the Channel Islands National Parks, and we brought them into here, and they're all easily purchasable. So. Right, which is cool. So one that's sort of an, an interpretation thing, but also, so we're right here at the visitor center. So very f a small fraction of the total people that come to the visitor center every year actually make it out to the islands. So it's also a chance for them that maybe those folks that can't afford to or logistically can't make it, can't take the you know day long trip out to the island. They could they could see a bit there too. Yeah. So what was the, what was the funnest? What was the most fun part about this uh, project for you guys? I think planting because it was the easiest part. <laughs> yeah, all these rocks we had to move in and out like four yeah. times. All these rocks were here. Actually. It was a lot of digging too because mm -hmm. we had to dig the pond and the riverbed, mm -hmm. and we all we also had to dig a giant ditch for the drain system to collect all the rainwater. Oh, so that was the fun part. Oh, good. I'm no. glad. I'm glad you're saying the ditches. The ditch digging is a fun thing. That's good. I'm glad you guys are working hard. It was all learning experiences. <laughs> that was the fun fun about it. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was just really cool working with the yeah. Park Service too and understanding that process. Cool. Yeah. All right. So do we do, is, do we have a name for the native plant garden here, or is it is it unnamed at this point? Um, it is the officially. I think it's the National Park Service Demo Garden. Yeah. The Demo Garden. All right. Cool. Well, thanks for all the work you guys have done for the last year on the Demo Garden. Looks great. And congratulations. And ha let's have a good Saturday. All right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>